Okay, going on with Is It Illegal or Is It Annoying? Episode 2. See who did it at the end of the series. No, never mind. Um, okay, um, intellectual property. We've talked about intellectual property. But some people do not understand. You know, um, I, I have pointed out that... Um, protection the the law in regard to protection of intellectual property it doesn't sort of roll out automatically as it does in uh criminal law um you have to uh make a case you have to prove it you have to pay for uh the the court case the the lawyers the research uh the expert witnesses necessary to make your case and um, you, uh, you know, you have to uh, do this yourself to protect your, uh, your intellectual property. Now, if you win, um, you can also request, you know, that the other side pays your expenses. Um, and that will sometimes be given to you. But sometimes. And... Uh, you know, you ask any lawyer anything, the answer is it depends. So let's say that you think you have a really great idea for a new business. Is there anything, uh, aside from trade secret, which protects that? And if you go to investors, they will want to know what your great idea is. And so you have to disclose your uh, great idea. And so if one of them then takes your idea, um, you, you know, may be in, in trouble because the, uh, you know, you, you have not protected a trade secret. Um, you, you know, you, you risked, uh, the, the disclosure of the information in order to get money. Um, so, okay, too bad for you. Um, it, you know, how, how you make these cases can be uh, tricky. But even in, in some cases, the idea that you think is a great idea may not be protectable under any of the intellectual property laws. And so, you know, a, uh, the uh, disagreement over what is intellectual property and over the value of a given piece of intellectual property um, is going to come into play as well. So, uh, you know, there's, there's quite a variety of disappointing scenarios in intellectual property under this idea of, you know, is it against the law? Does, do you have legal protection or do you not? Uh, um, fraud. Now we've got, you know, fraud. I remember recently somebody uh, pointing out that you, you don't want to define things too much in law. Um, and in most countries that have statutes about fraud, fraud is not defined. Because as soon as you define it, you also define what it isn't. And somebody will come along and find something that is, in fact, um, misleading, uh, misrepresenting, and, and by anyone's sort of ordinary understanding of fraud would be fraud, but doesn't fit that legal definition. And, and so it's just outside the lines of what the law says. Uh, so now we, we have situations of, you know, having to sort of prove a case yes this is fraud this is misrepresentation um i <laughs> over the years um in the interests of comedy have gotten very very good at telling the exact truth maybe not the whole truth but the exact truth and still completely misleading people um uh as a as a teacher, as a writer, um, you get used to what people will 
misunderstand when you say things a certain way. And so I would probably be very good at, at fraud um, if I could bring myself to do it. Um, so, uh, you know, we have the technologies now that can mislead in a variety of different ways. We have artificial intelligence now that can create deep fakes, uh, uh, pictures of people who don't exist, um, animating those pictures of people who don't exist so that they appear to be uh, talking, uh, generating voices um, that uh, hide the fact that it's us doing the talking. Um, and, of course, uh, multiple... Uh, uh, creating multiple identities, personalities, and uh, entities, enterprises, supposedly, um, to verify that, yes, we are a trustworthy organization and will deliver uh, faithfully on what we have promised, even though we have no such intention of doing so. Um, so all of, all of these uh, different areas are, are being aided by uh, computers. And uh, we have some really interesting new ones that, that skate fairly close to the line as, as we uh, move from fraud into things like extortion. Um, there is short selling in the stock market. That is, you bet that a company's stock will go down. And now we have situations where uh, people look at businesses and say, okay, this business is in trouble. This, this business um, is, is not failing right now, but will be shortly in the future because they have not prepared, they are doing the wrong thing, whatever. And uh, so they will then, you know, bet against the company and the stock goes down and they make a lot of money. But you can make more money faster if, for example, you... Uh, do this review of the company, and then you say, uh, you, you, you put the, you know, short sale, uh, and then you release your report, pointing out the failings of this company, and then a whole bunch of other people sell the company and the stock goes down. Um, the, and then there are other situations where uh, again, you do a review of the company, you see that the company is potentially in trouble here, and you go not to the stock market, not to the media, but to the company itself and say, okay, you know, we see this. Um, if you don't put us, you know, a number of our people on the board with, you know, very high director's fees uh, so that we can help you fix this, we're going to release this report. So, you know, how... At, at what point um, does this move from being a legitimate business practice um, assessing the market and the entities in the market and move over into extortion? And issues like that. And, um, oh, you know, we can go on and on with these things. Malware, what? Uh, how do you define what malware is? Um, we have had a lot of instances where, uh, you know, we say this is malware, this is malicious. Uh, no, says the person who wrote it, um, you know, well, uh, when rats first came out. Um, we called it remote access Trojan. They called it rats too. They said it was a remote administration tool. And so, you know, we've got a, a number of these areas, um, uh, and uh, areas of illegal content. Um, what is hate crime? How do you define hate crime, particularly online? Uh, child pornography. Um, you know, what constitutes child pornography? When we, you know, create artificial uh, images of, of children that never existed, you know, is this, in, in fact, child pornography? Is this abuse of children? Uh, depending on how the statutes about child pornography are uh, uh, written in a given jurisdiction. 